Hello, Ray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. Today we are going full of energy, girl. I know, I know that you know that we are on uh, Mercury retrograde, and it's kind of like kicking a bunch of people asses. But like we are almost on the other side. So don't worry if you have been feeling down, if you have been feeling weird, if you have been feeling like you are letting everything out. That's very normal. It's just this Mercury retrograde and it's about to be over. Girl, how are you guys? It is Tuesday. I know it is September. Girl, we are going at one, one day less until fall is finally here. If you are new here, welcome to Everly Troop where we spill the tea every single day no matter where i am and no matter what i'm doing i got you guys we talk about pop culture reality tv the bravo verse i got you hooked with everything so you know what to do subscribe 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 and hit that notification bell all right guys it is time to keep talking about the valley yes girl the valley is valleying they are filming right now at this moment the whole cast is going to Maui, mm -hmm, Hawaii, and they're filming their cast trip right now. Uh, the whole cast, except for Jax Taylor, is in there. Now, it is not, I mean, it wouldn't be surprising if Jax Taylor end up being there. You know Jax, you know how the whole thing goes on, you know, but so far, he is not there the rest of the cast is there including Brittany Carwright girl she said like divorce single and ready to mingle bitch okay she is not dwelling on anyone and she is just having all the fun now apparently Chinna Shea and Lala Ken were also supposed to be part of the cast however we're hearing that Lala Ken is not going because she is due to have her baby like on any second now and we have not had any confirmation if Sheena actually went filming or not. So you better be prepared because Lala and Sheena will be part of season two of The Valley. Okay? Now, let's talk about this whole mess of Jax Taylor and Brittany Carr, right? Their divorce is getting messier. And apparently, you know how we thought that this might have been not such a petty divorce. Well, apparently it might be. Okay? There are, I mean... There are different, like, rumors, you know. The streets of the valley are talking. And basically, they're saying that uh, Brittany is not really wanting to take the high road when it comes to a lot of things. And you know how Jack Taylor is. He will. Now, he's like, you want to scream, bitch? I will scream louder. So, I don't know. I don't think this is going to be, like, a very amicable thing at the end. I really hope it is. <sighs> because, girl. We need to think about the kid. Cruz is in the middle. I think both of them, you're going to be divorced. You need to start a new chapter, which is co-parenting. And there is nothing worse for a kid than having two parents that cannot co-parent. Okay? So, girl, come on. Yes, they hurt each other. Yes, they were bad. Yes, he was an asshole. Whatever, you know. But at the end of the day, now it's all about the kid. And one thing is for sure is that Brittany and Jax both love Cruz like with all of their hearts and they they want what is best for him so make it happen now Jack Taylor uh, shared with the world yesterday his diagnosis when it comes to his mental health struggles okay as you know he went in in-person treatment um I want to say like three weeks ago he was there for like I don't know two weeks and then he thought that it was over uh, a lot of rumors around there because people were saying that he was actually in rehab and all of that. Well, apparently it was an actual in-person treatment. And uh, now he's sharing his diagnosis with the world so we can get to understand him a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. <sighs> it says, a little over a month ago, I checked into an intensive inpatient treatment facility, scared of the unknown and what I will find out about myself. After many years of knowing something was wrong, but not knowing exactly what it was, 
I recently learned that I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and PTSD. It's been a lot to process and an emotional time for me. However, I have come to home to my son with a newfound sense of peace. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared for the future. But my focus is just trying to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday. Mental health is a lifelong battle of not letting it control you, but rather you learning to control it. Thank you to everyone who has reached out in support and who also share their own personal struggles with me. Your messages have helped me more than you know. Well, look, I the only thing that I can say about this is, you know, mental health is a struggle and it's something that millions of people around the world are dealing with, you know, and Finding help and actually finding the help must be one of the hardest parts, you know, because many, many people, they don't want to really know that there is something going on with them, you know. So I do have to applaud Jax for getting that help because at the end of the day, there is no magic pill for this. There is no treatment that, oh, just take this injection and then you will be like nothing ever. No, he is going to have to deal with this for the rest of his life, okay? And there will be ups and there will be downs, as any person who, who goes through this will know. So I have to applaud him to, you know, go get help, get the tools so you can move forward with your life, so you can be better, not only for you, but your son as well. This could explain a lot of the things that he has done in the past, you know. Uh, I don't think it's like an excuse and I think no one will ever excuse him for some of the things that he has done. But it's definitely like a possible explanation to some of that behavior. And hopefully he will understand that so he will not repeat those mistakes moving forward. Right? So let's all just wait for him and, uh, and wish him the best. You know, I think that it just became too much for Brittany. So I don't blame her for like wanting to or leaving Jax, you know, it's a lot. I understand. Um, so let's see, you know, I, I mean, we just need to wish them happiness to both of them at this point. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But before we go anywhere, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. OK, as you know, there are beautiful real flowers with a special oil treatment that lasts up to a year. They are amazing and beautiful. They have different colors, different shapes. Uh, you had it. The best way to say I love you, I need you, I miss you, blah, 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 you know, is with roses from Rose Forever. So if you want to get your bouquet, go to the link in the description below and you will automatically get 20% off when you click on my link. Okay, so go and get your roses right now. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Bravo verse, you know what to do. Subscribe. I know. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.